Welcome to Aspen Cooking, my friends. Today I'm going to show you and walk you through the dry aging process. I have never dry aged before in my life and I am thrilled and excited that I can share my experience with you. After I'll walk you through the quick setup process, I'm going to show you how I cook those steaks. I'm going to show you what results I have. And of course, I'll give it a taste and I'll share my opinion with you. I'll be completely honest. I have nothing to hide from you. Again, I have never dry aged, but let's have a look at what we're working with here today. I have taken a two, three inch thick New York cuts from, I picked those up from my local butcher and um, I have also picked up the Umai dry aging bag system. I will drop the link for it below for you guys to have a look and decide if you want to use it. The instructions were attached, there were three bags inside and uh, I just went ahead and followed everything down to the T and turned out to be a super simple and easy process. And I will also attach a link for all of the additional equipment I have used that was extremely useful in this preparation. Our steaks are in the bag. Each of them is roughly two and a half pounds. So that is the weight we have in the beginning. Folks with Umai company really thought this whole process through. They included this filter media that helps us when we're trying to suck all of the air out and maybe a little bit of uh, keep the moisture in, I guess, keep bacteria out. And this filter media comes in very, very handy. It is super important to have handy tools that will help you in your dry aging experience. Guys, our bag is vacuum sealed. We're not going to be able to get rid of all of the air, but that's okay because the bags will do all of the job for us. Now it is time to send these babies into the fridge. Marking beginning and the end of dry aging will help me to keep track of them. I'm gonna give our steaks a quick weigh in and send these babies to the fridge. And now we're sending them into the fridge for 28 days. We'll see you then. steak aging process. I am worried a little bit. I'm not too sure what to make of these areas right here. It almost looks like um, there's some fungus or something settling on it, but hopefully that's not the case. Um, I'm not panicking just yet. Uh, I do believe in this uh, Umai system and that it will do fantastic and fabulous job. I ended up dry aging for a couple of days more than what I have anticipated. But uh, after I opened the bags, I was pleasantly surprised. The smell was amazing and steaks look just what I thought they would look based on the pictures I've seen before. The pelicus was um, just kind of like fatty and oily a little bit to touch, but overall it was great. For those that don't know what pelicus is, it is the bark that is being developed on the outside of the steak during the dry aging time. And now we're gonna move on to the important part. The pelicus itself isn't very tasty. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with it just yet, but uh, I am cutting the steaks to the thickness and I'm shaping them just the way I want them. Guys, it is super important to have very, very sharp knife. Pelicus that I had developed on my steak was extremely hard and without a good and sharp knife, this process would have been a nightmare. Um, the knife that I use, I basically picked up a whole packet of brand new knives from Costco. They had them on a great deal. When my channel grows to over a million subscribers and I'll become big bad YouTuber, I'm going to develop my own line of knives and I'm going to be trying to sell them to you. But for right now, Costco knives it is. Guys, when you're cutting off the pelicus, make sure you don't go and be stingy and try to preserve extra meat. Pelicus itself taste, does not taste good, so you want it all gone. And after all of the pelicus is gone, here's what we are left with. Two and a half pounds? No, I don't think so. We'll give it a wait in a second. But the texture itself is very interesting. It is a little bit oily to the touch, but it almost feels like a cured meat, like a prosciutto or like a, a Spanish jamon would feel like. Take a look at all of this pelicus. Look how much cutouts and how much waste. I'm not really sure if it's a waste. I'm gonna look up on Google. Maybe there is a, a use and pelicus can be used for, I don't know, um, making meatballs or something. Second steak gives the same type of treatment. All of the pelicus is gone. 
reminding you sharp knife is a must i'm using a different knife because i found that it's actually easier to use a fillet knife when you kind of working with trying to cut the thin areas off instead of trying to just lump the thick portions away from the steak all of this is pelicus um, and the trimmings i mean all of that is just the waste that goes away when i'm going to use it and here's the result after both steaks are trimmed look at the color we start with bright bright red and now we have this deep ruby color it is very delicious it looks appetizing and um oh yeah i promised you i'm going to give it a weigh in okay so uh let's do just that let's have a look what we are pulling on the scale reminding you we started with almost five pounds we had four pounds 11 ounces between both steaks and let's have a look what we're left after dry aging is done and the trimmings are cut off yep 1.5 pounds that's crazy surprise motherfucker this is a three inch cut this is a three inch cut let's cook this and let's see if this is so much different and so much better and is worth the wait And our delicious steaks are ready, ready for us to cut them, ready for us to give them a try. So while preparing these, um, I was really hoping for a really good crust and bark develop. I was shooting for medium rare and wow, look at that, medium rare it is. It is more on the rare side. That is exactly what's going to allow us to give the steak a proper taste and develop an opinion of our own. In order to determine if the weight was worthwhile and uh, our dry aging is a thing that I want to repeat and try again. Think about it guys, 30 days is a very long time to wait for a delicious steak and I just couldn't let it go along. I paired it with this delicious veggie. It is an asparagus recipe with great sauce. I'm going to leave a pop-up link on top of your screen so you can click it and watch me prep it. I'm really hoping you will watch that video, enjoy it. And again, if you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll be back with more delicious video for you. Guys, when you have your own food blog, what happens is you end up eating your food 99% of the time. Uh, a couple of uh, honest uh, revelations is that this steak, um, after we eat like few more bites, um, it, it just, a little bit dry and I don't know if it's me and I will just you know honestly I mean maybe it is a cook error 
maybe I kept it in the uh, Umai bag for too long. Maybe I dry it aged for 30 days. I should have, you know, dry it aged for only 15. I don't know. But this steak is a little bit dry. Uh, however, the nice and crispy outside of it, I was never able to achieve it before with the steak. This steak gave me that um, texture and uh, overall taste is okay. Um, honestly, I wouldn't wait for 30 days like anymore uh, and lose about, you know, three, two and a half to three pounds of actual steak uh, useful weight that I can eat and enjoy. Now, what I will tell you is this asparagus was a success. That was a killer recipe. I would strongly recommend it. And uh, I'm going to drop a link right here so you guys can click on it and have a look. Maybe you want to cook it for yourself. Okay, subscribe. We'll be back with more videos for you.